Hello, I'm Mark. I'm Julie. And welcome to We're On The Move. Some subscribers when we were at Carl. Um, um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Um, uh, um, Alright, um, stop, stop, stop. Right. No, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Of course I'm. I'm always right. You are always right. Yeah. Okay. So we've done it again. You've gone into your mumbling moment. <laughs> and you're drinking your tea and you're mumbling. If you want to edit and cut this, you won't be able to because you're blah, 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 all the way through. Do you feel big now? <laughs> Hello. Hello. On this trip you see us going from Cowrose to Berkhamstead. And not Cow Plain to Berkhamstead, as you've been saying all morning. I know, I know. It's near where we used to live. Mm, yeah, it's about 200 miles away. We didn't do that in a day. <laughs> Cowrose to Berkhamstead. That's a hell of a walk back for the car. It would be. And we did this so that we could go to the supermarket in Berkhamstead and also to pick up Mark's prescription. We've gone posh, we've gone Waitrose. Yeah. <laughs> necessity. Yeah, it is necessity. It's bloody expensive as well. It'd be good to get back to Aldi. Yeah, yeah. or Lidl. Or Lidl, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> or, or any other supermarket. Other supermarkets are available. <laughs> So we've had a slight easing of restrictions on the canal, which is, is great, which means we can do short journeys now. Yes. And we met a wonderful subscriber. We did indeed. We met uh, Narrowboat Holly. So yeah. hello guys. And also another one of our subscribers actually moored behind us. So hello Lee. Hello Lee. <laughs> that was at Cow Roast, not Cow Plain. Yeah. <laughs> Otherwise if Lee moored behind us at Cow Plain, he was miles off course. You're waffling on. I'm not you? waffling, you just... You're waffling on again. God, get on with it. <laughs> <coughs> Can we say a massive thank you to our new patrons yes. this week? Yes. Uh, thank you to Andrew Boone and also to Lee Carrigan. Yes, uh, Lee Carrigan slash Martin. Yes. Um, not sure which. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, it's hugely appreciated. Yeah. Um, you know, it's still quite humbling that people would actually take the time to support the channel yeah. um, and it does make a massive massive difference so thank you very much thank you we are going to be heading towards the Thames we are this is our push now um, I think the Thames is open isn't it the Thames is open we've been waiting there are a couple of locks that have had uh, one's had a van um, next to the lock in mm. the water not sure how that happened um, yeah. there's been lots of trees down blocking the navigations and there's been some problems with the mechanical um, opening of the locks that are on the Thames. Yeah, so this is our push now to get as far or as quickly as we can to the Thames so we can get back out at Brentford and then put on up and then head for the K&A. Um, you know, that is the plan. Yeah, so obviously things did change because of the lockdown. We were hoping to do the Riverway and we were going to do uh, longer stretch on the Thames we were going to go through Paddington and out at Limehouse and do past the Houses of Parliament etc that will probably be next year now yeah I'd imagine so I mean <clears throat> the other thing as well is it's you know it gives us something to aim for in you know in the following year so we're heading towards the Kennet and Avon as our, our destination for this year but who knows? Things might change. It, mm. <laughs> you know, we could be in lockdown again. We could be in lockdown again, or everything might be eased and life returns back to normal. Indeed, yes. I mean, um, it is hoping that we don't go back into lockdown. Uh, okay, so enjoy the journey, um, and uh, we'll see you when we get to Berkhamstead. Yeah, see you soon. Good morning. Morning. 
you were joining us on the front of the boat. Yeah, lovely sunny day. Yeah. Um, today we're heading off again uh, and we're going from our spot here at Cow Roast and we're going all the way through to Berkhamstead. Um, it's a journey that we filmed before but in the other direction. Yeah. So we thought it'd be nice for you to come along with us and see the journey, especially on such a beautiful day as this. We're going to pick up some water first and where we head to in Berkhamstead there is a supermarket so we're going to pick up some supplies. Yes and we'll probably stay there maybe till after the weekend and then move on again in our bid to get back onto the Thames. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> can't wait, can't wait. So uh, come along for the journey. And we'll see you at the water point. Yeah, <laughs> bye. And off we go. Okay, so Julie's just about to do our first lock of the day. Say hello, Julie. Hello, Julie. <laughs> um, don't forget the seal. We're going down, aren't we now? I won't forget the seal. So here we go, folks. Just about to go through the first lock. I think it's the first of seven or eight today as we head towards Berkhamstead.
This is lock number two. Uh, it's called Dudswell number 47. So this is Dudswell lock. Scorching hot day. Couldn't think of a better day to be doing this really. Freedom! Okay, so we've been through the Calrose locks and there's a, a set of locks, a flight of locks. And now we've got a, a short cruise to the next set of locks, which will take us into Berkhamstead and there will be a shop there. our first strawberry just ripening in the background there. So that was a nice encounter with some lovely teenagers that were fishing in the lock and refused to move their rods and then when we asked them to move their rods threatened to punch Julie in the face, smash her camera up and push her in the canal. Delightful. So, we've got two more locks to do, and then we hit the town of Berkhamstead. It's taken a lot longer than it normally would because every single lock has been set against us because they have to be left empty. So it's just made it slightly more difficult. But uh, it's taken us about two and a half hours so far, and about another hour to go, I think.
Hi, I'm Gail Mauer from Michigan. I'm getting a real kick out of listening to all the different accents of everybody who submits videos. Of course, I don't have an accent, but then we all think that, don't we? Let me uh, change the angle here and I'll show you what I see out my living room window. Okay, this is the view outside my living room window. Um, my husband has a model train layout. It's a garden railroad size, hence the fence there. Yesterday morning, I woke up to about an inch of snow out here. Hi, Mark and Julie. This is James. I'm here in Shanghai, China, and I just wanted to say how much I love the pleasure I get from watching your videos, your vlogs. Um, I miss the UK. I've been away from the UK now for 23 years. But uh, just watching your vlogs along the canals there, just, just so relaxing and so peaceful. Um, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Love it. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, if you can give it a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Um, that will give you notifications every time we post a new video. And please leave your comments in the box down below. Um, we always answer the comments. Um, so, and we love getting new comments. So. And if you'd like to support the channel, we'd be very, very grateful. We've got links to Patreon and PayPal. Yes. <clears throat> and we'll see you all next week. See you next week. Bye. Bye.